concerns me is a coordinated complex attack or an active shooter incident and how we're going to respond to it. San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood revealing what keeps him up at night. He's been picking apart each active shooter and mass casualty event, and he believes there's a better way to respond that could so save more lives. lives. The chief purchasing bulletproof vests, helmets, and trauma gear to create rescue task forces. The night team's Tim Gerber got the first look at the new equipment, and he shows us how it will be put to use in this Defender's report. It says fire rescue on it. We're not trying to be SWAT officers. Uh, we are firefighters and, and we are more comfortable with hoses in our hands and guns. That may be so, but SAFD's newest gear isn't for fighting fires. It's come to the point where firefighters are going to have to do urban type battlefield medicine uh, in the streets. Ballistic vests and helmets will now be carried by some crews who will be called on to respond to active shooter and mass casualty events. It's a major shift for the department. They will no longer wait on the sidelines for police to clear a scene. The goal is now to get in as fast as possible. We have seen that victims do bleed out and uh, we have to be able to go in and, and get them. If you look at Orlando, there are probably people that would have survived if you could have gotten them out. The extra protection allows rescuers to team up with armed officers, locating and treating victims as the scene is actively being cleared. We may have to do this in multiple quadrants of a building or a large geographical area, so we have to coordinate that with law enforcement to make sure that we are covered, we have plans to get these folks out. It's set up like this so it opens up. Those teams will carry trauma bags packed with enough medical supplies to treat up to 12 patients. So these task forces are going to come in and quickly walk through triage, stop the bleeding and, and figure out a way to get them out. SAFD has also stored large caches of medical equipment in various parts of the city that can be deployed quickly anywhere it's needed. While none of this will prevent a deadly attack, it could reduce the number of lives lost. You never want to say that you're completely ready because something will happen today. But as far as us being prepared, I do think we're ahead of most major urban departments. That new gear now being distributed to fire departments across the city. The first to get it, the special operations teams and command staff. The goal is to have all 22 ladder companies outfitted in the near future. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. If you have a story for the Defenders team to investigate, send an email to defenders at ksat.com or you can call them at 351-1212.